Oh, hi everybody, PA here, bagging you with another video. Um, but this time I have stuff from Vivant Vintage. Um, I actually went twice, um, once a while back, um, I think probably a couple months ago. Um, I had a short day and I ended up going. Um, and it's pretty easy to get there. Getting back sucked um, for the weekend, so weekend train schedules suck. Um, for me for Boston so yeah that was difficult um, and then I had another day um, recently where it was a short day so I got it in time so I decided to do a better route that I had seen and it was weekday so a little bit easier so I went in again so I'll start with the items I got for the very first trip to Vivant Vintage um, there's tons of stuff in there that I absolutely love um, especially the vintage jackets um, and like like leather jackets and stuff and like the 90s clothing that they have there is super awesome um, love to buy it uh, don't have a couple hundred dollars to like drop on clothes though so I uh, pass those up to take pictures of them uh, most of them don't fit me either which is a difficult thing um, they're already either too big or too small because yeah it's in need of clothing uh, so the first items that I got from the Vivant uh, Vintage were, actually the first one was this little guy here. I saw him at the very beginning of the store when I first came in. And he is filled with my collection of wind-up toys, which I want to show off in another video. My whole collection as I have going right now. Um, but he is this little doggy. And you wind him up and his tail spins. He's just this cute little puppy. And his tail spins. Or well, it wags as you would call it. So it's a little, little puppy with a wagging tail. Super cute. Um, he's pretty old, but he's in pretty good condition. But he like still works and everything. Um, so he's pretty cool and he's nice and tiny too. And the my favorite item that I of course my only other item I got is this beautiful baby. Um, I'm not certain what she is made of. Um, it's probably like this. I don't know what it would be considered, but she's really cool. Um, and somebody stuck pins with fabric on her and put a little mask over her eyes. You can probably you can see where her actual real face would be. I don't know if these are attached. I don't know where I'm going to destroy it. But she is super beat up. Um, of course she's on her head. Um, down at the bottom. Um, she's kind of beat up. But she is super cool. And she has a whole spot right up on my shelf there. Um, so I love Love her little toes. No shoes. But she is wonderful. So that was it. What I got the first trip. Um, I didn't pick up too many items. The second trip, I picked up slightly more items, mainly because most of them were smaller. Um, but the first item I picked up, I actually had taken a picture of the two masks. Actually, kind of, I'm sad that I left the other one behind. I kind of want it now. Um, so, depending on if I get a chance to go again, um, and it's still there, I might get the other mask that was hanging with this one. Um, because I kind of love him too, and I was kind of sad that I left him behind. <clears throat> it was only like after I got on the train and I was like home, I was like, I really should have gotten the other one. Um, but I got this lovely lady. It was this really bizarre and creepy mask. Her, it's like the slits for the eyes are like here. So I'm not certain like if this was done the way like I've done masks before where you put petroleum jelly all over your face and then you take the um they're kind of like bandages but they have the um it's like the bandage plaster stuff. Um you put that over your face and then you can use that as a base um to lay paper mache and other things on. Um, so I don't know if they used that for that. 
this or if they just, I don't know. We probably would have had to do that because it does look like there is orange, like at least has the lips and stuff. Um, but it is like a mache mask with like this wax put over it. So the wax is like coming off in certain places. It looks really interesting. It just gives a weird, bizarre effect, but it's so bizarre. So weird. It smells like wax and paper. Um, so she will be hung up somewhere soon. The other items I got were some postcards. I do one of the items I'll show next is actually this little camera. Called the surprise camera. Um, I'm not certain when this would have been like developed. It's, it could be like maybe 80s, 90s, maybe earlier. I'm not entirely certain. I have to like look up and see if I can find when this was made. It was made in Japan. Surprise camera. And I believe it looks like it is made of tin. It's a little tin camera. Um, and it looks like um, there's probably like a little um, spring loaded snake thing in here. So you pretend you're going to take a picture with this absurdly tiny camera. I think that wouldn't give away something anyway. Um, and this little like snake springs out and scares the person you are trying to pin. Um, I'm leaving it even if packaging, but I think it's super cool. I love cameras. Um, I love magic kind of things. Um, and so I thought this was a really cool um, little piece. I love the uh, artwork kind of thing on it. So that was a cool piece. So I just thought it'd be cute, like cool to hang up. Then I got some postcards slash photos. One of them is this one here, of this little baby in a high chair. So serious. Such a serious baby. Super cute. This is a postcard. This is Hella, Helen and Eileen Brock, I believe. Two little girls. This one I got, this was the first one I saw. I just had to take it home. <laughs> I just love the, I just love what's going on in this picture. It's, it's hilarious. Um, hopefully, you can really see. The kid in front going, oh no, you're taking my picture. The teacher who doesn't give a shit. Uh, this little girl there. This kid's like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then the kid in the back, like, I'm going to strangle myself with this thing. Yeah. So they're just having fun with hula hoops. And it's just hilarious. Um, I love the kid, this kid right here. My favorite kid. I <laughs> love his expression. <laughs> That's something he's saying. I've had no luck reaching you. None of something pages. Have something machines. But want to see you. Do call love someone. I think he put his phone number. Or I think they put their phone number. But I knew they thought it. What does it say? I cannot read it. It's horrible handwriting. This one I just thought was interesting. Um, I wish it didn't have the markings all over it, but I do love traditional like greetings from insert things greetings from Huntington West Virginia I believe um, and then on the back it shows the person's note which again I can't make out right now so I'll try to see if I can figure out what that says and then I got these three tin types she the main one I got it for was this baby I love my baby pictures. 
but actually um, my favorite one actually turns out to not be the baby. Um, so I got these two other tintypes of these gentlemen. And this one is my favorite. Um, I just love the way it's kind of decayed. Um, I love their hats. And that gentleman there with his face and expression. And just the way like it's cracked around him um, is awesome. So this one's actually my favorite. Um, but I don't know if I'm out of I'm trying to see if it's a hidden leather. I think it might be. I do see this odd shape black shape behind the baby. So I kind of feel like that's probably a hidden leather. Um, but yeah, because there's a chair thing to put the baby on. But there's also like this weird drape um, black sheet. But the the two with the three gentlemen are pretty cool as well. So I'm glad that I got the whole lot and that I like all of them because they're pretty cool. Um, so that was it for everything that I got at Vivant Vintage. Um, I love their store. Um, and I'm glad to finally have been able to go in, not just once, but twice. They're actually reasonably close to my work. Um, so when I found that out, I was like, ooh, depends when I get out of work. If I get out on decent times, like I should, um, I might be able to stop on in. Because they're actually open pretty late, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's just difficult um, getting on the transit. Thanks, every. But uh, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed going. I got tons of pictures of things. Um, I love this store. It's just a pretty cool store, which I like. Really excited to come out and check out. That was it for this trip. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace out.